Throughout the ages, certain individuals, possibly intuitive people or those who have lived in close communion with this source energy, have discovered a relationship between themselves and the universe, which other people are not in touch with. Most people are living out their lives full of doubt, worry, lots of fears. They're not conscious of the spiritual realm so much, but there are a few always who have either consciously or unconsciously used that power that the ordinary individual doesn't seem to be in touch with too much because these individuals can demonstrate effects from the use and the knowing of this power. You can think of them just as I can, these folks. I've heard it described over the years as many things. Years ago, people would say you're developing the mystical approach to life or you're developing the mystic's eye. And simply stated, it is someone who has developed perception beyond ordinary sight. We come to a place as we practice this teaching of communion where we know and where we feel and we sense that we live and move and have our being in this unitary field of causation. It's sublime when you wake to it. It's beautiful when you're there even for a second or two. When you know that you know and your thoughts are starting to take form and you get a sense of that and you develop a sense that all is well, as Louise Hay always said, that all is well and everything good is possible and there's nothing to worry about and that there is much to enjoy and much, much to learn. Our teaching offers all of that to you. When we begin to practice this teaching, we begin to open up the gates to greater good, greater perception and all the good things, health, greater opportunities, wealth, better everything as though the universe has delivered some great message to them, which has been denied to you, but that's not true. Nothing is denied to anyone. You are an individualization of it, and it is forever responding to you, wooing you, attempting to get your attention. Spirit in you, the hope of your glory, of glory, the awakening to that. Today we recognize that spiritual understanding and knowledge is ours to use and experience the transcendent life is a life that expresses fully and beautifully through us, or it can. In our classes and study, we're reminded of the great truth and acquire the knowledge and become empowered in consciousness to move forward, to level up and to transform. We can at last believe in a great new reality. Spirit in us, as us, is us. As we learn more about our relationship with the universe, how it responds to us, the way it works, how creative intelligence responds. We will be amazed at how immediate and accessible it is to all of us all the time. We come to know it responds to us as quickly as it has to any person who has ever lived. 